we've loaded our Vince the Voodoo doll clip into our Pro Tools session, and we're ready to begin mapping out tempos, looking for action to underscore, and so forth. Let's go to the window and look at the video. It uh, starts with the opening credits. Right now the default tempo is at 120, and I'm thinking that it might be a good idea to change that tempo. So let's do that. I'm looking over here, and I'm thinking that maybe a little bit slower might work, and I'm just going to try um, this. Let's see how this works. We have that window opening up at the beginning of the second measure, which seems like a nice way to start timing the opening credit scene. As you can see, at the end of the opening credits, we see Vince getting ready to walk. Now what I want to do here is, is I want to have the first bar, the downbeat, begin when he puts his first foot down on the ground, like there. So, here we are right at the frame where Vince takes his first step. Uh, I've switched uh, the thing from bars to beats to minutes and seconds so I can see where that is. And then what I can do is I can click on the meter bar here and um, you have options. You can snap. It will automatically snap to the beginning of the bar, which is what I do not want. I want a new measure to begin right when Vince takes his first step. So there it is. And you can see here that the measure of 4-4 that I put in here is in italics and that is because it is not snapped to the grid so from here on out the measures will begin here and the other measures will follow from that starting point until the next change so the real reason to click on this uh, on this meter button here was was not to change the time signature obviously since it's still in 4-4 but rather to underscore or have the measure begin right when Vince's foot hits the ground Okay, here we are basically in the middle of the Voodoo Vince clip, and we're seeing him walk towards a banana peel. And I would like to underscore that. So what I've done here is I've created a measure of 716 that begins right where his foot first steps on the banana peel. And that goes through here to the downbeat of the next measure, where his foot once again lands on the ground, and he begins back uh, walking in the previous tempo. In order to get this 716 measure to end precisely when Vince begins his regular walking pattern again, I did have to mess with the tempo a little bit. And you can see I did it up here. Uh, you isolate the section you want to change, and you mess around with it like that. Okay, let's undo that because it was right the first time. And you can see now that as we get to the next measure of 4-4, four, four, his foot comes back down on the ground and he begins his normal walking pattern again. I've begun to underscore some of the sections of this clip with uh, some sketches. Uh, his walking gait, which I have chosen a tempo of 151 because it seems to match uh, his steps really well. I've kind of got this piano part doing a Raymond Scott style of thing with the little stabby chords going along with it. Let's see how that works. Notice that that 716 measure was right over here, which I also underscored with drums. Let's listen to that one more time. And you can see that the drums come in and they end right when his foot begins the normal walking gait again. You can also see in some of these sections where I have uh, I've continued the regular uh, tempo with the with the left hand of the piano and I've included some chords to underscore certain more humorous sections
As we continue developing the piece, we're going to be looking for other places to underscore. And a really effective way to keep track of those hit points is to create memory locations, like we've done here. The way to do that is just to select a spot, hit the Enter key, and title it. It will then appear on your memory locations window, which you can find here under the window menu. And there it is. Clicking on any of these memory locations will take you right to those points. And your session will play from there. We're going to continue the process by completing the sketch with the drums and the piano and uh, expanding those out into other instruments and possibly having live musicians replace some of those parts.